I'm playing a three chord combination in various keys on the piano. We call this three chord combination the 2-5-1 progression. It's the most common combination of chords that we use when we're playing standards, jazz standards, popular music from the 20th century. If we can understand how this little three chord combination works in different keys and how to play it, it's going to make learning and playing standards much easier for us. There's a lot to say about this three chord combination, but before I get into explanations and a little bit of jazz theory so that you'll understand it, let me show you an easy way to play it in its very basic form so that you have some way to conceptualize it in your eyes and fingers while I'm talking about it. First off, what is a 2-5-1 progression? Why are we calling it 2-5-1? Where do these names come from? Well, let's look at a major scale, or C major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now, instead of going do, re, mi, the old Italian references for the notes, we can also go by numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Back where we started. So these are our reference points in the scale. We refer to it as the first note in the scale, the second, the third, the fourth, and so on. And we can build a chord on each one of these scale tones. It's called harmonizing the major scale. How we harmonize our scale is by taking the seven notes of the scale and using every other one to make a chord. So we've got our first note, we take every other note in the scale. We call it a one chord because it's built from the first note in the scale. That's the one chord. So you can imagine the next thing that's going to happen, we're going to go up to the second note in the scale and take every other note in the scale again. This is the two chord. So that's the first chord in our 2-5-1 progression. But we're not quite there yet. Let's keep going up to the third one, going every other note in the scale. The next one, every other note, that's the four. The next one, that's the five. So now we have our two our five, and our one. In jazz, we make four note chords instead of three note chords. And so how we do that is we continue up every other note in the scale, one, three, five, seven. Now we've got a beautiful major seven chord, and this is our one chord in jazz in the major scale. That's the one chord. The two chord similarly, now we've got a D minor 7, starting from the second note in the scale. Continuing up the 3 chord, every other note in the scale, the 4 chord, every other note, and the 5 chord. So we can continue still the 6 chord and the 7 chord. So this is how we come to find our two, our five, and our one chords. Now we're going to want to learn this 2-5-1 progression in all 12 of our keys, and we're going to learn how to do that step by step as we get further into the lesson. So frequently when we're playing standards, we're playing this little combination of chords, and we're playing it either as a two chord combination, that's the 2-5 progression, or a three chord combination, the 2-5-1. The 2-5 progression and the 2-5-1, they're really the same thing. 2-5-1 and you take off the 1, you've got the 2-5. These little combinations of either 2 chords or 3 chords make up what I'm going to take a guess here. And uh, I didn't put this into a computer or everything, but just based on my years of playing music, I'm going to say it makes up about 60-70% to 70 of almost any song that you play, any standard it's going to make it a lot easier for us to learn songs and to remember songs because we know the songs have a lot of these two five ones and once we spot them in the songs then we remember them as groups groups of chords uh, and that's part of the the essence of this whole idea also is that when you start to play a piece of music um, whatever tune you're going to work on some old standard some old wonderful piece of music and you look at it and you're confronted with a lot of chords. 
Um, and you're, if you're not a chord player and you don't have a lot of experience, you might go, wow, that's a lot of chords sitting there that I have to learn. How in the heck am I going to do this? Well, what happens actually is we uh, group the chords together, and the first thing we do is want to spot the two fives and the two five ones. So when I get a new piece of music, if I'm unfamiliar with it, first thing I do is look for these two five ones. I see a bunch of chords and I go, mm -hmm, let's see. There it is, two five, two five. Mm, there's a two five one, there's a two five. Okay, I think I got an idea how I'm gonna go about playing this song. Not all the chords are two fives and two five ones. Gotta be clear about that. I say 60 or 70%, that leaves some left over and those are not in the groups. But we can spot these groups right away and we know that's going to make our life a lot easier because we've got this very familiar progression of 2-5-1 that we can use in those positions in various keys. Most standards go through at least two keys, sometimes three, sometimes four. I, I'm going to say three keys is a typical kind of uh, what to expect when you play a song like Misty, let's say. I think I'm, I'm going to guess here. I'm not looking at the music, but Misty, I think, has three keys, maybe four uh, when I get into the bridge. Um, it's just typical, say three keys. It's, it's not scientific here, but this is what you're going to look at. To have a song that's in one key is unusual. Then we classify it usually as a folk song or a traditional song. There's various ways we can play this three chord combination. There's so many ways to play any chord on the piano. We have so many keys available to us. But even played in its very simple form, it's going to help you play and learn standards. Let's take a look at a few jazz standards here so I can show you just how we use the 2-5 and 2-5-1 progressions. Let's take a look at the standard, The Shadow of Your Smile, and see how many 2-5s and 2-5-1s we have in this song, just for example, so we can see how useful they are. Now I'm going to sing through this song just for a point of reference. So I recommend everybody be able to hum or sing through the song just to keep yourself on track, especially while you're just learning the chords and you're not worrying about playing a melody in your right hand or somewhere. You're just going to play the chords while you're learning them and sing the song to yourself or hum the song like I'm going to do here. The shadow of your smile. That's a 2-5 in the key of E. 2-5. When you are gone. 2-5 in the key of D will color all my dreams and light the dawn. Now that's a 2-5-1 in the key of G. Color all my dreams and light the dawn. 2-5-1. And similarly, the song continues with a lot of those same 2-5-1s. Here's Misty, and I've got all the two five one progressions and two fives marked with red brackets. So there's quite a few as you can see in the song. If you know how to play your two five ones, you're gonna be able to cover a lot of territory in this song. There are in fact actually very few chords that aren't part of the two five ones. And those you have to just look at separately, but you look forward to getting where the two five ones are because you're familiar with those and know how to play them. So it makes your work a lot easier so I can do this with any song or any fake book, pick it up and start looking for the two fives and the two five one patterns. And I find out that there's a lot of them that go in almost any standard that we're gonna play. Almost any standard. Some of them don't have a lot of two five ones, but most do. I've got a list of tunes that I give to my students that use a lot of two fives and two five ones, popular standards that uh, are very familiar. Now you can download that list on the website and take a look at it and see what songs you like there. Those are good ones to start to work with because they're loaded with these 2-5 and 2-5-1 progressions and a lot easier to learn as a result. Now let's take a good look at how to make our basic 2-5-1 progression. Let's start in the key of C. Now we could make our 2-5-1 like this, play our two and our five and our one. But it doesn't sound too good. Our hands having to jump up too far and our ear jumps up with it, it's what we call bad voice leading. It'd be much smoother 
if we find a way to get to our five chord without moving around too much, and we do that by doing this. What we're doing here is we're playing an inversion of the five chord. We're taking the top two notes of our D minor seven chord and we're bringing them down like this to make a G7. I hope you can see the G7 in this inversion. You'll be able to see it if I lower it back down to its root position. I'll flip flop the top note down here and I'll flip flop down one more time. Now here's the G7 in its root inversion. But I'm going to bring it back up to its second inversion. And here it's very nice voice leading coming from the minor chord when the minor chord is made in its root inversion. Starting with the, with the root note on the bottom of the D minor. We fold it here. Now we've got the fifth of the G7 up on the bottom. It's the so that's a nice, clear, and simple way to play our 2-5-1 progression in the key of C. Now what we have to do to put this little progression to use is learn it in all 12 of our keys. Then we can put it into songs wherever we want to. I'm going to show you an exercise that will make it easier to keep it organized so we can learn how to play them in all 12 keys. Let me just play it for you, then I'll bring the camera up close and show you how it works. That's the sound of it. Now let me get the camera up and show you how it's done.